Hey there, everybody. It's Peter and Christina from Indigo River Tiny Homes. Hey, y'all. We're going to show you today the, our latest house, which is a 36 foot long by 8 foot wide by 13 and a half foot tall bunkhouse model. So it's got total off grid solar. So we're going to start back in the back where the solar equipment is. We can't show you the panels because they're on the roof, but there's 10 of them up there. You're just going to take my word for it. <laughs> up the storage shed here so this is under the landing in the deluxe floor plan for the bedroom we'll see that in a minute starting with dual what was the what inverters there they are dual inverters for 240 volts of power we got three five kilowatt batteries it's for a total of 15 kilowatt hours of electricity some people know amp hours so it's 152 100 amp hours. Oh no, I'm sorry, 300 amp hours. Do all the math real quick. There's the kitty cat door, so the cat box will go right there. And we'll show you the inside that goes into the bathroom. Is that a. Oh, think of the flap. That's the vent for in here. It's a fan. When it gets too hot in there, the fan kicks on. And so it'll stay cool. It'll stay cool inside that little space with all the equipment in there. You don't want it to get too hot. Right, we're going to go around to the front end first before we go inside. And because there's a couple of components up here that uh, go in hand in hand with the solar power. And the first one is the mini split system. This is by Innovare and it's a 38 sear mini split. That's the energy efficiency rating. And our, our typical tiny, our typical mini split units that we put in these houses are usually 20 to 22 sear. So it's much more energy efficient, so it's more compatible with the solar. Then inside the front storage shed here, we've got a 40 gallon hybrid water heater. And so the, this is a tank water heater. It's all electric. The customer didn't want any propane to have to deal with. so. We got a, this water heater, which is compatible with the solar because it uses 40% less electricity than your typical electric water heater. Nice. And it, then whole house water filter, very important for health and the health of your water heater too. And all your water fixtures. We just had to replace somebody's water heater from another tiny house that we did not build but she was on well water, they didn't have a filter, so that water heater was in bad shape. Yeah. The, uh, this is the food truck window. This is an upgrade. It's got a uh, fold down table on the inside and on the outside. So she's gonna build a deck out here. So we've got this for entertaining. And you can even open it in the rain because it'll rain a Yeah. So it pops down pretty easily. For travel. Yeah. Voila, and we made it to where it blends it's pretty. the siding. Yeah, looks good. Want to go inside? After yes, you met sir. In. All right, let's get just a good look before I come all the way in. Sorry about that. The Peter can explain. 60 hertz, 50 hertz, something to do with the solar is making the lights flicker. It doesn't flicker in real life, but on the, on the video, it's... Yeah, the lights will look like they're flickering, but in real life, they're not. I think it's because the we need to reset the frequency of the, the solar inverters. Right now, they're set at 50 hertz, which is the default. I guess that's what they do in Europe or someplace or wherever those come from, maybe China. I don't know. But uh, in America, it's 60 hertz. Who knows why? It's probably our. I changed all the settings on my camera, and this was the best we could do. So, <laughs> let's start here uh, with the pop-up tables. So they, we got a double pop-up table on the inside. That's five foot wide when both sides are up. So three people, three people can can cozy up there and have yeah. some food. Yeah, and but it was too long to get by to the to the stairs, so we split it so you can still 
see two people here and still have access to the bedroom if you need. So these are super easy to pop up and down. I was surprised because sometimes those things are not so easy or they like almost pinch your fingers every time. <laughs> All right. My fingers pinched, but it is. That's good. <laughs> uh, let's start in the kitchen. We've got low profile microwave. I love these because there's a little button, they pop open. I just love how compact they are and give you plenty of room over the cooktop for, for large pots. Uh, she upgraded to the four burner induction cooktop. So the induction uses less electricity, makes it more solar compatible. Um, and then we did a 24 inch oven big enough to cook a turkey in of course lots of turkeys being cooked in indigo river <laughs> tiny, house, tiny house i'm sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got the pull out trash can which is great best place everybody needs a place for the trash and the drawers soft clothes on everything all the drawers and cabinets all have soft clothes got the farmhouse sink with the uh industrial look spring uh, pull down faucet, which is very popular. Toe kicks. Toe kick drawers. There we go. And those are kind of like secret compartments, but there's two other secret compartments we won't show you. Per the For the homeowner. For the homeowner. Per the homeowner's request. <laughs> no. And she did open shelves instead of the cabinets here, but we did the under cabinet lighting, that's standard. Uh, the fridge here, the retro fridge, that was an upgrade. This is a 12 cubic foot. It's a little bit larger. The pedestal still though, so we yeah. got lots of storage. Yeah, and then uh, the homeowner's tall, so she can still get inside this fridge. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's always a, we put an outlet inside the storage under the stairs in case you want to plug in a Roomba or a uh, shark or something like that. Should I go in the bathroom? Yeah, I'll let you go in there first. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. The tile, this was not the original tile accent. We couldn't get, oh, it stopped blinking. We couldn't get the original choice. And I think this accent turned out pretty good though. Yeah, I think it blends well. And it's beautiful. So all thing, these, but... every single one of those looks like a different day at the beach. And I love that glass. This is really pretty. So she got an extra, um, what's that thing called? Medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. Cause there's one over here too. And we made them but... open the door. You can see the back of your head. Made sure the guys put it in backwards and I made them turn it around. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. So there's the kitty cat door. So that's the other side of that wall we saw. And then the pedestal for the washing machine. And the washer dryer hookups. And standard flush toilet. So flush standard flush sink. toilet, but then she, if she wants to go off grid, um, it's pretty easy to cap that off and replace it with a composting toilet. We got nice deep drawers under the vanity. Yeah, the vanity's and the cute. the vessel sink, this is an upgraded vanity. Love it. And then so should we do the um, bunkhouse bedrooms first? Because this is the bunkhouse. We've we built two of these and people have a hard time visualizing it when you try to explain it. So you want to start in the kids' room? Yeah, let's start in the kids' rooms, yeah, the, let's start yeah. in the kids rooms okay. and then we'll show the master. All right. After you. So I just want to let everybody get a visual of how the the bedrooms kind of overlap each other. Um, so the downstairs bedroom, of course, there's a pocket door in there. Full wardrobe. And then plenty of space for a double bed. You can do a full or a twin in here, depending on how much floor space you want. And it's, what's the, what are the dimensions on this bedroom? Uh, seven and a half by seven and a half. Nice. Floor, and then the stand-up area is five feet by seven and a half. Okay. 
which is the part that they count in the square footage. It just looks so gorgeous. There's the double fan. We found we found some more double fans, so this it turns to yeah, rotate. Sorry, I don't know. There we go. So you can it helps because you have one blowing down and one bl angle to blow into the lofts. So that helps circulate the air throughout the house because we only have one interior heating and cooling unit. So there you want to get that airflow all throughout the house. Go to head upstairs. Yeah, so first I'm just going to show the ship ladder. It's easier to climb than a regular ladder because uh, of the slant. But it's, and then you can get storage staircase here if you want. We just have to move that door over a little bit. Yeah, you can do the food truck window then. It's one or the so, other. Yeah. Well, or get a longer one. You get a 43 foot maybe and <laughs> fit it in there. All right, so here's bedroom number two. We've got, of course, the step to boost you up into bed, full size, 6'4 can stand up beside the full-size wardrobe. Tons of storage space in there. And then this catwalk actually has a kitty cat door that's gonna, for the kitty cat to get away from the dog maybe. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is a queen up here, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I wanna show the hardware. These are, the homeowner really likes these. I love these pipes. Like, well, faux pipes, I guess. No, they're real. I mean, they don't work, but they're real pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean by faux. Well, I didn't know if they were just decorative or... Yeah, I mean, they feel sturdy for sure. They're... All right, I'm going to come backwards. you want to take the camera? Sure. You can go all the way. Go upstairs. There's my beautiful wife. She hates being on the camera, but <laughs> finally get to see her. All right. I'm gonna go upstairs. Are you gonna go first? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I'm gonna take my shoes yeah. off in the little shoe cubby. So Peter's not six four, but he's just I'm about six foot. Six foot. Now, people always ask what this little shelf is for. It's a step to help get into the bed because you see how high it is up on this bed platform. So, the step up it makes it easy to crawl in and out of bed. So, this is the deluxe loft edition extra wardrobe window seat. You One just turn hundred. the light off oh, with yeah. your back. <laughs> oh, wow. What? I don't know. I could stand up over This here. one's taller. The you remember we used to do Change a steeper the pitch slope. Of the yeah. Roof, yeah. We used to do a steeper slope and so you I wouldn't be able to stand up on the left side. But. So there the window seat has a plug in there if you wanna put, yeah, it opens put up some for electronics storage. in there to charge. There's our other booster. <laughs> booster <laughs> for whoever's step. on the inside. Yeah. And then we and got it, shelves at the top at, at the head of the bed. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade, some shelves there. I'll show those other shelves. So, see how much room there he can walk by me? All right, so these, these look good. Oh, and I think notch out so you can put cords behind there. And then of course she's got her little control panel for turning the lights off. Show the bedroom one more time. Big window on this side. It's not flickering. All right. For a second. That's it. That's everything, right? I think so. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm glad you tuned in. Please uh, subscribe and watch more of our videos. Remember, we love you. Bye, y'all.